When we look at a medical record, we often go to the medications list. And any of you working consistently with populations of patients, especially acute patients, have come to recognize those medications that have an impact on a patient's ability to eat and swallow and, and enjoy what they're, they're eating. The categories that I pay particular attention to are those that have sedative effects, those that are neuroleptics, that is, they have an effect on the neurologic functions, especially on behavior and cognition. Drawing agents, that's a tough one, or perhaps an easy one, since almost all medications have a tendency to dry out the oral cavity, it seems. Anticholinergics has a particular drying effect, and anticholinergics can also cause a lot of drowsiness, and it inhibits parasympathetic nerve impulses. Diuretics, forcing out fluids. In this, I might even pay attention to how much caffeine the patient has in their daily intake. And finally, topical anesthetics. Some people use the sprays in the back of their throat, not realizing that that might be exacerbating a pre-existing swallowing problem. I had one patient who had a major swallowing problem. It had gone undiscovered. Video fluoroscopy, clinical exams, nothing had found the reason for the patient's swallowing impairment. I wouldn't have found the reason had I not had the patient take out his upper denture, do my exam, and then watch the patient replace the upper denture by using a topical anesthetic to help hold the denture in place. The anesthetic was leaking out the back of the denture into the tonsillar pillars and onto the pharyngeal wall, giving the patient an anesthetic effect during swallowing. 